If you could picture in your mind what could potentially be the worst day of your life, what would it be? I reckon having your newborn baby stolen literally from under your nose is ranking pretty high up there, don't you think? Especially if the act is committed by an insane woman who goes by the name of Mary Terror. What's up guys, welcome back to Unlimited Reads. My name is Chris and today I'll be doing my spoiler free review of Mine by Robert R. McCammon. This is the fourth book of McCammon's that I have read and this year alone I've already read Boy's Life, Swan Song and Blue World which was his collection of short stories which was absolutely brilliant. I enjoyed all those books and this one really was no exception. It is so intense, it had me on the edge of my seat all the way through. So let's start with what the plot's about. So it's about a deranged woman who is severely delusional. She lives in the 1980s but dwells back uh, to the past where she was a 1960s Berkeley radical and uh, she fell in love with the leader of their little terrorist group who she calls Lord Jack and she believes that he will love her again if she brings him their son. So she's really not well in the head. Now she thinks that a message has been left for her in popular magazines summoning her and she believes the message is from Jack who is still alive who she thought was dead. So she launches her own mission by brazenly stealing a newborn baby from a maternity ward which was pretty bold and claiming the baby as her own son and then she uh, starts a journey across America uh, ultimately to Northern California where she believes that Jack is still alive and she believes there's going to be this big happily ever after she'll rock up on his doorstep and present to him their son and believes that they'll live happily ever after which uh, you can't get much more delusional than that. So things begin to really escalate with uh, a deadly pursuit as the mother of the stolen baby, Laura Claiborne, tries to get her son back uh, without the help of the authorities or the FBI or the police, which seems like it's an impossible task and it is in some respects because Mary Terra is very, very clever. She's evasive. She can blend in and disappear if she really wanted to, but ultimately, uh, her mission will not end well if she fails. Her ultimate goal is to get the baby to California to Lord Jack and if that doesn't happen, if she does get apprehended, she has vowed to shoot the baby and take down as many police as possible with her. Now I have to rip the band-aid off here and I'm not going to bullshit you. Uh, when you first open the book and you read the first opening scenes, they are very, very confronting. So uh, just a word of warning there, but I would urge you to read past it uh, just trust me on that because uh, it just gives a really good look into how disturbed Mary Terra's mind is and uh, how she uh, is mentally ill and deranged and insane and it's uh, illustrated very very well by McCammon but at the same time it's um, quite difficult to read but uh, I urge you to get through it. Uh, just trust me on that and uh, you'll just get a really good idea of uh, how uh, Mary Terra's mind actually works. It's a really good um, illustration of that. So uh, just get through those first few pages and uh, you'll be fine. And all through the book, you're just hoping like hell that Laura gets her son back with page after page of uh, nail biting stuff. And just remind me never to get mauled by a pit bull. <laughs> no spoilers, but uh, yeah, that wouldn't be a, a pleasant experience, let me tell you. It's full of violence shootings, car chases, and a desperate race against time. I thoroughly recommend this. Yes, there are horror elements uh, in the book that uh, McCammon is renowned for, but this predominantly reads as a really good thriller novel, uh, which uh, it's designed to make you keep turning the pages, and it certainly achieves that goal, especially uh, the last third of the book where things really uh, become so intense that you can't stand it and you have to finish this thing. If there's one slight criticism I could give to the book, and it's only uh, a little nitpicking here, but it was a little bit distracting, and I'm going to be completely honest because I like to be honest in my reviews, guys. Every time a point of view character changed, it was simply another paragraph. So you'd be reading on, reading into the next paragraph, and you're like, oh, whose point of view is this now? Who, which character are we with? And uh, it's just a, a little negative 
uh, that I found with the book, I would have preferred just a neat little page break so that uh, as a reader, you know that the point of view is going to shift. Uh, I just found that a little bit distracting, but as I said, it's only a very, very small thing. It didn't deter my enjoyment of the book, but it sort of stood out a little bit when um, I was changing um, point of views with the characters, but it's only a very minor thing. The book overall is brilliantly written uh, in true McCammon style and uh, really held me on the edge of my seat. But that said, the book is a great read and Robert McCammon now is four for four for me. And my next book I'm going to be reading of his sooner rather than later is Stinger, which I picked up recently for, uh, I think it cost me about five bucks, but you know, look, the spine's a little bit creased, but it's only reading copy. It won't deter my enjoyment, and uh, I uh, am really looking forward to this one. I plan, hopefully, to read the Matthew Corbett series, and I really, really would like to uh, read Mystery Walk. That is really high on my list, but this particular one, Stinger, uh, will be the first half of the year. I'll be getting stuck into that one too, and of course, I'll be reviewing it on the channel, so watch out for that one, and I'll uh, let you know when uh, I'll be reading that. So there you go, guys. That is my spoiler-free review of mine I do hope you pick it up and trust me about the first opening pages they're very confronting but read on because the book is absolutely incredible I found that the ending was you know quite uh, satisfying the best thing is the ending wasn't rushed uh, there was a hell of a climax which was great and I just really liked how the end of the book turned out but uh, this is a spoiler free review so I'm not giving anything away but you have to uh, read it for yourself to find out what happens so please don't forget to like and subscribe offer up any comments below uh, if you've read the book let me know what you think but until next time guys i'll see you later